like I said, Zach has, um, you know, we Zach has mobilized. Uh, and fortunately, thanks to Comicsgate, he has raised funds uh, to be able to sue Mark Wade. It's very, very expensive. He needs, we need $200,000. He raised this much money. We're burning through it on lawyers. I want this to, I, I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. I don't, I don't want Zach to settle this. And I don't think Comicsgate wants him to settle with Mark either. I don't think Mark Wade needs to get off easy. Mark Wade has had it easy for too long. Mark Wade has been bullying people in this industry and not just Comicsgate. He bullies whoever, whoever uh, is going to get him some positive reaction, a little dopamine hit. What, who was the zombie guy? Uh, Kirkman? Oh no, 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 not Kirkman. The, uh, Sujam, uh, Arthur Sujam. Arthur Ooh. Sujam, okay, he did all the Marvel Zombies paintings. Uh, now, Arthur Sujam got in a little bit of kind of like a little faux pas when he went to a convention and his display is so big that he accidentally, well, he didn't accidentally, he took up two tables when the convention only wanted him to have one. Now, this is one of those things that goes viral uh, on social media. It's a small thing, but some dickhead wanted to make him, uh, give him a hard time. So it spread all over the internet how evil and sick and wrong and, and, you know, disgraceful Arthur Sujam is for going to conventions and taking up two tables when he was only entitled to one. And what a jerk. And then all these weirdo blue haired SJW women talk about how uncomfortable his privilege makes him feel, how this is just an extended form of man spreading. Uh, all of this stuff happened all over Twitter. Arthur is just trying to sell his zombie posters at a convention. And Mark Wade, of course, seeing his opportunity. And, and Arthur Sujem is no, is no uh, conservative. He's no Trump supporter. Mark Wade sees this opportunity. He goes on social media and says, I'm going to go over there and punch him in the face when I see him. I'm going to go punch him in the face. Uh, this is, uh, you know, this is another thing. This is, uh, he did it to Jew Terror, too. Jew Terror, Bleeding Cool Reporter, amazing. These are people who we're not allies with. This is just who Mark Wade is. Mark Wade is constantly threatening people in this industry, bullying people in this industry for no other reason than it's going to give him a little bit of a dopamine hit. He enjoys being a bully while calling, while calling out other people for bullying. He is absolutely, absolutely never going to stop this behavior unless it is imposed upon him that he needs to stop this behavior. That is why we have this GoFundMe account right now to raise money for your boys act to actually sue Mark Wade into oblivion. And that's what I want. I don't want this to get settled with Mark Wade having to issue a little apology. Uh, I want heavy, severe financial penalties uh, for this. I want the apology too. Uh, I want it all. And the only way to do this is to actually see this through to the end. Mark Wade and his ridiculous lawyer, who is named Mark Zaid, this is how cartoonish this world is, uh, are doing everything they can to stall. Uh, they're trying to make sure that this uh, case does not happen in the state of Texas because they, it is cut and dry. Cut and dry that, that they are guilty in the state of Texas. They want to have the venue moved to California. Uh, it's not going to happen, okay? It's just not going to happen because two parties actually uh, live in Texas. Two of the parties, uh, the two parties who had a contract, both live in Texas. It is going to happen in Texas. And once the judge rules that it's going to happen in Texas, Mark Wade and his stupid lawyer are going to try to settle. Uh, they're just trying to uh, see what they can do. They're, this is a Hail Mary shot to see that this case just ends suddenly. It's not going to. And at that point, when the uh, offer to settle is on the table, unless we have the money to see this through and say, your settlement, screw you, you are not going to get away with this. You're not going to continue to bully comic book pros just so that you feel good, you little George Costanza mother effer. Uh, mm -hmm. It's going to come to an end. This is where it comes to an end. This is where the rubber meets the road. This is the ultimate. This is the, this is the battleship of uh, what we're doing right now. This is the battleship of Comicsgate. Um, this case is vital. I'm, I'm passionate when I talk about this and I'm sorry, I'm probably shouting and Andrew is going to say, you shout downstairs. I'm, I'm extremely passionate mm -hmm. about this. This is the core of the problem. This is the nucleus. This is the white, hot, boiling, soy-based heart of SJW comics. We need to blow this shit up. I mean, really, we need to blow this shit up. If you guys have five, 10, 20 bucks more to um, donate to Richard C. Meyer needs you on GoFundMe, 
do what you can. If you can't do it today, do it when you get paid. Um, uh, I'm, I'm leaving the link in the description right now. So if you actually look at the description, you will find the link to this campaign. So, yeah. So, uh, thanks, Ethan. First of all, I want to thank you again for setting this up. Uh, I started it without this. Ethan was trying to set it up for, I think about two months and I was like, no, I'm going to pay for this. And then Mark Wade did his. And of course the shill media, uh, was on his side, just spread his lies. And then I said, then I gave Ethan the thumbs up and, and he raised like 180,000 and what, like two or three weeks. Um, and that, that sent a, you know, a little piss shiver through the other side because they realized they couldn't do to me what they did to that, uh, interracial couple just to, you know, threaten them. We can uh, outlast you. Uh, I've never been in a lawsuit before. I've actually never had a lawyer before, except for uh, in the 1990s when I got a little street fight. Um, it's really expensive and we got good lawyers and they're expensive and there are so many things that have to be done in a lawsuit. It's absolutely insane. So if Ethan wouldn't have set this up, I would have run out of money. Uh, like four months ago um and then i it would either had to uh well then actually you just uh it wouldn't be settled and it would just be dropping it i would just have to drop it you know uh so they've uh made it clear they are going to stall in every single way shape and form I mean, they've already had to correct depositions uh, or, or uh, uh sign sworn statements because they uh oopsied some uh almost truths into them and then suddenly magically remembered when Rukeda uh, jogged their memory banks. But uh, it's, it's, it's bad because, you know, I have people come to me and uh, I'm sure Ethan does and they want to work, they need work and they can't take work because some little George Cassanza bully will send them a night letter or their boss a night letter within 12 hours sometimes. I mean, these people actively hunt for Oh, you gave $25 to make my campaign and you put your name instead of anonymous. You did a like on a tweet. I mean, it, th these are malicious, evil people. And they really do have to be stood up against. And, you know, one of the the frustrations I keep talking to my lawyer, I go, at one point, is he just going to see like, oh, geez, I made a mistake. Like, what can I do? And um, the senior lawyer told me at the last meeting, he says, you can't change him. You just go for a dollar amount. That's that's what mm. you can do. That's what we need to do. That's what this is. This is uh, this is delivering that man, baby, the spanking his parents never gave him. Uh, it's on us now. Society has to discipline this weirdo. Uh, but that being said, the other lawyer said that he already sees progress because uh, your thing with dynamite, uh, the behavior was very very different from most of the usual suspects between what happened to me a year ago they basically said i don't like ethan van skyver he's bad bad terror bad i'm not going to buy his book and then they started lowering down all uh, those people said i don't have a hundred thousand dollars to get a lawsuit so i'm just gonna say this and then shut up and then what happened with their boycott yeah. they stopped talking about it in three days now i don't think everyone learned their lesson um but some people have so far so i consider that uh, progress. Well, uh, I I do too. I think um, I think everything that we're doing is turning out to uh, look. We you can't you can't make a change unless you're willing to fight. We can't change these problems unless we all stand together and actually do try to make a difference.